Okay guys, this is, uh, I'm making this video to show you how, how to do, how to do uh, wo the Walmart shop and deliver. Okay, see, they started, uh, the thing is when you open the app, when you start shopping, the app sometimes, in the past it used to start with the non-perishable food and then will, then will start the uh, perishable food. But now is the app is not <coughs> really, uh, uh, you know, working well. So, see, when I start shopping, it says perishable here. So what I what you do, you go back. See on the right, left top in that in the uh, in the top left corner, you go back with the arrow, and you start with the non-perishable because. When you do shop and deliver, as soon as you pick up a perishable item, the app will tell you you have one hour and 15 minutes or so, like one hour 15 or one hour 20 minutes to make it to the this, to the customer. If you get there after that, guess what? You have to return everything back to Walmart. So you need to know that. So. We're gonna start, and I always start with the bread because the bread most likely, especially Sunday, there is a big chance that you're not gonna find it, the item. So, let's see. So we're gonna start with this. Okay, I have a feeling I'm not gonna find this. Okay, let's see. I hope I'm wrong. Okay interesting it's always the case man it's always the case not always but guess what it was in the back okay see and also watch how many how many they need it says one item so before you scan it make sure you like you know how many you need so can you scan the item like this uh oh wrong item why is wrong item It is the right item, so I don't know why it's telling me it's wrong item. Let's try it. Try again, man. This sucks, man. Ah, oh, I see. I see. It's not. It's a different, uh, different uh, item. Okay. See, I told you. They always people are, for some reason. Oh, okay. I think I, I found it. Yeah, this is what sesame seeds or. Puppy seeds. Okay, this one has puppy seeds. So, see, that's the thing. You have to get the right item. See, now we got the right item. Cool. Now, I'm gonna keep. See, I keep scrolling down to avoid picking perishable fo foods until the end. So now I'm gonna go with the pineapple. So tap on pineapple. Pineapple, and they need one. So let's see if we can find this one. Let's see. Pineapple. Pineapple. Where the heck is pineapple? I think it is. I can see it from a distance. Okay. Yeah. It's cheap though. It's two dollar thirty eight cent. That's that's a good price. Okay, let's see. Let's scan this one. Uh oh. Okay, let me scan this one. Okay, we got it. Now we're gonna go for the kiwi because it's not it's non perishable. So they want this kiwi. It's like a package of 32 ounces. Where is the kiwi? Sometimes if I have a hard time finding an item, there's, I ask, there's a nice guy here working here in this Walmart. And sometimes these people, they go to the, they, you don't see them sometimes. 
Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna find this kiwi thing. Okay, let's see. By the way, this is the first stop, uh, the first trip I got Shaban deliver in like, believe it or not, in 10 days. I, e I even stopped driving for a while because it, like uh, if you see my videos, I was like talking about these people using the third party software. So I'm surprised I got this, this one, maybe because there was too many orders and the bandits, the, I, I call them the bandits that they steal the order. They already stole the orders, so they left this for me, I think. Wow. I think I'm gonna ask this guy one second. Brother, where I can find this one? Yeah, I think this guy is a man. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much, man. It was like, I was like five feet from it. I don't know if that's the right one. Sometimes you scan it and then it says it's not the right one. Let's see. Let's see if we're lucky. Lucky me. That's the right one. Okay. Now, this is like a small order. So that's why it's easier for me to make a video with a smaller order. Sometimes people order like insane number of items. Okay, so now because I'm still in this area. So the salad usually you can find it close to the close to the vegetables and fruits in the same area. It's usually on the back wall. So if you see vegetables and fruit, look look at the wall, usually in the left left of the on the left side. So let's see. Fresh spinach. Where is I think let's see I let's see I hope they have it. See the thing is it's Sunday Sunday night and like 8 30 and well, sometimes you can't you don't find stuff at sunday night you know because people already took them i don't see it i don't see it they don't have spinach i think i okay here 10 ounce lucky me i found it so what you do you just scan it so now uh, you see when you when you pick up perishable food, you see what it says. It says for to follow food safety standards, this order will be cancelled if it is delayed after. I mean later than 10:23. See, so uh, as soon as I scan the perishable item, they tell me I have until 10:23 to get to the address and uh, and they confirm that I arrive. If I arrive later than that, I have to bring everything back to Walmart. You have to remember that, so got it. Okay, now, and there is a new feature. It wasn't here before. Now, they tell you what aisle and they also show you where the aisle is. That's a good feature, it wasn't here before. Now they tell you where the aisle is, you know, com based on the layout of the store. I, I know the layout because I did this, I've been doing this for a year, but this is good if you're a new driver, see? So it says if you, this is the entrance of the store here with the arrows. So when you enter the store, there's two entrances, one to the left, one to the right. When you go to the left, you first get the frozen food. So it's telling you, is on the left side that's a good feature i think for especially for new drivers and for if you go to a store that you're not familiar with okay so we have to go to aisle a7 that's a, also i want to mention that how you find the item see it says aisle a7 so you go to so you go to aisle a7 Usually the aisles are like the aisles next to each other will be with six and then after that will be seven. So you go to aisle seven, section 19. So, so section 19 usually you will see it in the bottom of the coolers, like uh, the freezers. There will be number on the bottom, that's, that's the section. So the section is in the bottom. 
So here it says section 19, which is the last section. And then it will say module four. So it's the fourth item from the top, basically. And, ah boy, bad news. It's out of stock. Oh my God, bad news. And this is an item, I don't think there is a substitute for that. Oh my God. Okay, this is always the case, man. There is always some an item you can't find. See, it says, uh, uh, have you checked with an associate? The problem is, when you don't find the item, they ask you to check with the associate. The bad news is, there is hardly any associate to ask. Even if you ask them, they will say, oh, sorry, whatever you find here, that's what we have. So basically, most likely, unless you know somebody that willing to go to the, you know, you know, to the storage and find it, they're not gonna, you're not gonna find it. So, I'm gonna say, I'll ask, then I, I'm gonna say, can't find the item. Okay, and then, uh, there is no substitute for this thing. Uh, let me see, I might find substitute here. See, that's the problem is when, when you can't find an item, that delays the whole process. That delays the whole process. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh my God. Let me see if they, if they accept this substitute. So what I what what I do, I say, add substitution, and then I'll scan it to see if they will let me do it. Okay. So they let me add this, but then you have to confirm with the customer if they are okay with the substitution. So you say confirm. So you confirm. You have to tap it twice. Okay, and then confirm again. Okay, now in the same aisle, section 18, which is next next door, basically to, to the one that I just picked up, it says mango, uh, pineapple, pineapple chunks. Okay, my, this customer is all, is all about pineapple. He's a big fan of pineapple, my, my customer. Okay, let's see. I don't see pineapple. See, that's the problem with Sunday. You can hardly find stuff, man. Okay, they don't have, okay. Let's see if I'm lucky here. Scan, found it, cool. See, now, I believe, so if you always wanna, if you want, you always can go back to check. See, now we have only one item left, which is green seedless grapes. So the bag has to be less than 2 point, I mean, has to be 2.25 pounds or less. So you make sure you don't, uh, you know, uh, add like a ba bag that is over that weight. So let's see. So A1, A1 which, which is, you know, it's the first aisle in the, frozen stuff but it's usually is not a, a one usually it's the ones next to it it's there is a freezer next to the a1 that's where you find these things okay they don't have much they don't have much and the the, the graves look like they're not in good shape okay and the thing is when you don't pick up good good vegetables and fruits people like if you can't find you know quality product I mean what else are you gonna do that, that's the only thing they have is they're not that oh my god they're not that good well well I'm gonna tell them I don't know I'm gonna take my chances yeah it's, it's not that good oh boy 
see that's what happened when you shop on Sunday. Yeah, the grapes are not in good shape. The grapes are not in good shape, but what, what else can I do? Like they say, what else is in you? There's one, one guy doing shop and deliver. And I think he's one of those uh, bandits. He looked like it. Okay, I'm looking for a scale. They have digital scale, which is thank God, which is to, for thank God for you know digital skills. Okay, so what you do, you weigh the item, and then you tap on weigh. Then you add, which is one point seven six. So the weight is one point seven six. You say confirm, and confirm. That's it. So now I'm done. I'm done with the shopping and time to go yes it's okay I'm done I did not confirm with the customer uh, okay but usually when the customer accept the item that's the thing they should have add this feature which is when the customer accept the item they should send you a note that the customer accept the item they just tell you to keep like to con see it, uh, it says review train changes continue let's see okay looks like the customer left uh, left uh, okay left a message let's